What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a special treat for you. Some of you guys may recognize this car and we actually did a video of this car a little while back if you find it on the channel. But today we have Michael Moore's the car here today. <clears throat> this is the Neon that you see in the Texas Mile. Did 193.5 and uh, he's on a, well, we're on a quest to see it go 200. But Malcolm's made a few changes to the car. Uh, mainly some small stuff. It's got a different throttle body on it, which is the MPX for modern performance. Yeah, I think it's a 70 Okay. It's a 70 millimeter throttle body. And I think that's about it since the last time it was on the dyno. That, you know, modified fuel pump to get a little more uh, flow. Yeah. Return. Cool. So, <clears throat> we've got this thing strapped down, got the fan on it. We'll go ahead and uh, get the dyno all situated and linked in. And then uh, we'll get the computer, computer rolling and uh, make a baseline tug. Right now, the car has E85 in it. Um, so we're going to make some runs with the 85 and then we'll pump that out and um, we'll start uh, putting, what do we got, C85? C85? And see where this thing ends up. I'm going to say last time I was on the dyno it made around 640 horsepower. So see what it does today. So guys, the reason why we didn't just jump into it, and as you see, the sun is at a completely different uh, point in the sky, is we did have to find some electrical gremlins. There was a problem with the OBD2 port and uh, loose ground wire, but uh, we worked through it and figured it out, so now it's time to make some pulls. guys so we finished making runs on regular E85 and Malcolm went ahead and pumped the rest of the fuel out and put in the race uh, C85 fuel in it and uh, see that was our, our final numbers there on regular pump gas E85 or pump E85 excuse me and uh, that was on about 21 22 pounds of boost so now we're going to uh, Turn the uh, duty cycle up on the controller and see where it ends up on the high boost setting.
unfortunately guys we had to cut our dyno session short um, the fuel pump had went out fortunately I had an extra 450 here we were able to pull the tank down and put a new pump in it but Malcolm does have a long drive home uh, he's from Port Aransas so it takes him about five hours to get here and uh, he doesn't want to risk you know if something happens with this pump we figured out what what happened uh, he's actually running one of DCR's new canisters with that Hellcat 525 pump and uh, basically when we were changing fuels uh, because of the, the way that pump is set up with the return and the way that canister is it doesn't fill up very fast with the fuel that's around the actual fuel pump uh, versus it fills that canister gets filled by the return fuel which is great when the engine's running but if you were trying to I pump the fuel out of the car uh, to switch fuels for an event or something if you didn't want to mix therein lies a problem uh, because the pump will end up getting hot because there's not enough fuel to keep the pump cool and the fuel pump failed uh, and that's what happened so we know the problem we need we have a solution so that won't happen again but unfortunately uh, we'll have to bring the car back and finish the tune at another time there really wasn't anything wrong with the tune we were just trying to uh, see what kind of power we can make with the new changes that he made on the car, which mainly was just the throttle body. But um, got the car all back together and uh, get everything packaged up for him to head home. Well, real quick, I'll show you. So, as you can see, that was the last run that we made on just regular pump E85. And then we put the C85 in and turned the boost up. I think on this run was 28 pounds. So you can see it's significant. This run here was on 21 pounds and this was 28. So guys, real quick to round this video out. You know, uh, the other day Robert's car was here to get some gauges put in, bought the wrong gauge, blah, 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 blah. Well, we went ahead and put the pod in with the other boost gauge. Well, we, he came in and we ordered some AM gauges for it, the ones that we would have put in. Uh, so we came, ordered those, we got them the next day. So we had him bring the car by. And uh, as you just seen with uh, Malcolm stuff, I was busy with that. Uh, but John went ahead and got his gauges installed. So to round this video out. So, as you can see, bam, we got ourselves some nice AM gauges. Got our Y band up top here, and got our boost gauge down here at the bottom. So, Robert's car is all ready to go back home. He's on his way. So, like always, guys, if you wouldn't mind, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section below. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.